Okay, so Irish Wish. This is Netflix's new rom-com that they dropped for uh, St. Patrick's Day, essentially, right? It is directed by Janen Damon. Uh, it is written by Kirsten Hansen. It is produced by Michael Damon, uh, Brad Crevoy. Executive produced by Jimmy Townsend, Beda Shamas, Amanda Phillips, Lindsay Lohan, Kirsten Hansen, Gallon Fletcher, Donna Epperon, uh, Jane and Damon, Brian Borden, and Steve Berman. It is also um, supervisory produced by Jake Relic and Vince Balzono, line produced by Francis O'Reilly. Nathan Lanier handled the music, Graham Robbins was on cinematography, Scott Hill edits, Caroline McLeod took care of casting, Grant Montgomery Montgomery Production Design, Nena Zomo A McNamee was Art Direction, Scotty Henson Tim, Costume Design, um, Hair and Makeup, we've got Nicoletta Toda, Kristen Constantine Stoyak, Julianne Ryan, Rachel Malloy, Nic Nicola Conway, and Fiona Conan. So the cast, Lindsay Lohan is Maddie Kelly, Madeline Kelly. Her mother, Rosemary, is played by Jane Seymour. We've got Maddie's best friends, right? There is um, Heather, played by... Aisha Curry, and Emma Taylor, played by Elizabeth Tan. Then there's Paul Kennedy, right? The author she edits and the person she's lusting after. He is played by Alexander Vajos, right? His mother, Olivia, is played by Jacinta Malhali. Um, his dad, Sean, is played by Morris Bryan. His brother, Corey, is played by Matty McCabe. Uh, da, 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 da. Then there is, uh, what's his name? Um, James, James Thomas, played by Ed Sp Bellas. Um, do, 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 who else is of note? Uh, St. Bridget is played by Dawn Bradfield. Um, Tom O'Callaghan is played by James Rutger. Father Callaghan, but spelt differently, is played by Aidan Jordan. Finn is played by Dakota Lohan. Murphy is played by Tim Landers. Algara is played by Rachel Benassasasa. Um, Liam played by Steve Hartland. Jay played by Carl Shaban. And the bus driver is played by Vincent Moran. Uh, that's probably our main lot of people i would say um oh the airline woman counter is played by ella cannon uh but yes that is it the, the, the gist of the story when the love of her life gets engaged to her best friend maddie puts her feelings aside to be a bridesmaid at their wedding in ireland Days before the pair are to marry, Maddie makes a spontaneous wish 
for true love. And the next morning she wakes up as the bride-to-be with her dream seeming to come true. Maddie soon realizes that her real soulmate is someone else entirely. I mean, that's no big surprise, right? It's the, I mean, with these films, the person who the per, who our main character is madly in love with is never the person they will ever end up with. It's never the case, right? And I don't know, a lot of times these things are referred to as a meat cute, right? Referred to as a meat cute. I don't think there's anything meat cutie about this kind of film. I mean, if you think about it, right, it's it's pretty mean spirited. You know, this kind of film is pretty mean spirited, right? Because when you think about it, it's someone who is you know, lusting after, like, supposedly one of your best friend's peoples, you know what I mean, it's like, you don't want your friend to be happy, that's essentially, she didn't want a friend to be happy, so it's just like, I want that dude for myself, right, it's just, you didn't seize the day, they went with someone else. So are you really going to be like, oh, no, I want them. I want them. It is a a bizarre, uh, it's a bizarre thing. You know what I mean? It's very odd. Very odd indeed. Uh, Like, we start off at a book premiere. And, right, she, you know, Maddie gets out the car. She's wearing a scarf. The scarf gets caught in the door and the taxi takes it away, which I don't know why that was there. Right, they they throw in a load of, like, these typical tropes in a film. Like, oh, girl, you know, he's so clumsy. Like, oh, nothing goes right. Even getting out of a taxi, she can't do properly. It's just like, come on, man. Come on. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. You know? It's just a bit, ugh. And then it's like she's working as an editor. You know, she was a is a writer, but she's working as an editor. Fine, but the reason for her not actually writing her own book, you know, I don't know. It's a bit. There's just a load of people in those kind of situations who still write their book, so we don't actually. This is the thing. Like, we have these paper thin concepts. Or I should say, we have these concepts where we just do not mind them for what they are, right? It's all surface level. That's the approach here. So we get this paper thin, oh, this is why I'm not. But I, oh, you know, I love it, blah, blah, blah. And the other thing with this, right? Because it is that whole, oh, but my name's not on the book. And it's just, but that's what you signed up to do. Right, you signed up to be the editor. You chose if you chose to do more than that, that's on you. You you weren't asked to do it, you weren't paid to do it, you did it. Right? If if you would, you know, were like, actually, this can't work, I'm gonna have to do this. That means we need to change the contract, otherwise. This is the draft that goes through. Boom. That's another thing. Right? But that's not what happened. So we have someone moaning about things which they have, for whatever reason, decided not to control. Right? But 
we we have this first meeting of the these people but i don't know it's a it's a weird one right because there's no real conversation or anything and that and that's another thing it's all again superficial right because there's no we don't know why the anyone is supposedly in love with whoever they're supposedly in love with right there's no man because i love the way you do this or i really see this depth in you that's just it blows me away every time you know it's it's never it's just a I like the color of your eyes <laughs> your hair is very webby you know it's just like what are we doing it's 2024 motherfuckers right Lindsay Lohan took a break from films took a break from films and has come back with things which are just like feel you're better <laughs> than than these things right I, I, I have a feeling you could do more right it, it's not like she is untalented you know I don't necessarily like the films that she does but you know she can act right she can act but it's just this kind of stuff it, it, it's uh for me anyway, for me anyway, it doesn't necessarily, what was this just not honest? It's not honest and it's, you know, and I understand, right? We watch films for escapism. That This isn't, you're not escaping to anything better with this, right? It's just these, these weird, because even when, the whole wish thing goes through, right? The whole wish thing goes through. You then look at it and go, okay, so how would people, in this scenario, how would other people form any sort of relationship? Because there'd be no reason for them to hang unless they're in the company of someone else, right? It's just weird. You've got a photographer who saying things, it's just like no photographer is saying. No, like it, it's just that, may, that makes no sense. But even the whole scouting for locations. Supposedly, Kennedy, you know, grew up in that spot. His family lived there still. You'd know the good spots, right? You'd know the places. You'd be like, oh, I really like this place. I really like that place. You know, it, it, it's, it's like even when you're looking at this film and you think, okay, it's like an advertisement for Ireland. It doesn't really show Ireland, right? They showed it, what, the cliffs of Mir, which we see all the time. You know what I mean? Show us something else. Right, it, it's not like that's the only thing Ireland has to offer. Ireland is a lovely place, so show us more. You know, stop with your superficial laziness. Show us more. Do more. Our our supporting cast, like you know, Heather doesn't even get a last name. <laughs> it's just Heather. Right, at least Emma at least gets Emma Taylor. Emma gets nothing, right? And the character is nothing. You know, you have her supposedly lusting after Paul's brother for no reason. That's just her. She has nothing to do in this. If you remove that character from this film, it's the same film. Right then, Emma. Nothing. There is nothing for Elizabeth Tan to do here. You know, other than be the other woman. Right, they, we do not get anything from these people. Right, the the character depth they try and give James, 
paper thin, right? It's just like, oh, I usually um, photograph animals and stuff. But then he's like, oh, for well, for a you know, for, for this, I want to do, and it's just like, well, if you've never photographed people, what are you talking about? With your process, your it's bizarre. It's bizarre. Right? There was a bit where he's talking to the landlord of the pub where he's staying, and he's just like, oh, if you don't settle down somewhere, how are you going to meet someone? He's traveling around the world. He could meet someone wherever the fuck he is. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, what, what are we talking about? He could meet someone wherever. It's, it's a weird film. The whole suitcase thing. What are we doing? What are we doing? The way Maddie falls into the car. What? <laughs> like what? It's just ah, oh, it's it's frustrating just because we're not being given anything. You know, we're not being given anything. It's just this base level approach to storytelling. You know, the, we have nothing from the characters. So we're not e we're not getting great performances we have like Lindsay lohan's character she's putting on this weird kind of voice where everything's just like i don't know what to do oh oh maybe i should and it's just like look that's not characterization kid you know what i mean it, 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 so it, you can't really go, oh, yeah, the actors, the cast, they just didn't really deliver any. They had nothing to play with. So performance-wise, there's nothing to put on them. They have, they've been given nothing. You know what I mean? Absolutely nothing. It's just, yeah, it's just, for me, it's just a bad script. It's a, it's a, it's a lazy script. And just unimaginative storytelling. I will say this, right? Though, you know, Falling for Christmas, it's definitely along these lines. Falling might be a little bit better. But yeah, if you liked that, which was actually Janan Damon's feature directorial debut, you know, um, this is an Irish Wishes is follow up film, just like yo, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, if you liked Falling for Christmas, I think you'll well, you will definitely like Irish Wish, you know. If you like any, um, you know, of the kind of rom com that lives in this field you know any of those things like we we looked at upgraded recently you know if you like that you will like irish wish you know it's just one of those films so if you like that rom-com where you do not have to think it's not a you know in-depth look at anything it's just very base level, which is, you you know, you've had a long day, you just want something. You know, players, again, we looked at that recently, similar film. You know, so if you just like something where you can just get lost in a fluffy marshmallow story, right? If that's what you like, and there's nothing wrong with that, then Irish Wish will make you happy you know so yeah it's on netflix people have at it